Hey guys, this is Abby. In this video, I'm talking about my cameras and how I make YouTube videos. But first off, I want to just say that you do not need a fancy camera to start YouTube. I started with a little point-and-shoot camera and a totally average laptop and just started from there. And slowly, as I made YouTube videos and got more subscribers, I slowly built up my equipment. Do not let lack of equipment stop you from making YouTube videos if you want to make YouTube videos. If you have a phone or an iPod or iPad or something, you can even use that. I use this for some of my videos. So starting with my camera. The camera I'm using now is the Canon T5i. I bought this camera refurbished off the Canon store a little over two years ago, so it's probably considered outdated now, but hey, it still works. I've used this camera a lot for videos and pictures for Instagram. It has a touch screen, which is like the most helpful thing on a camera ever and the screen flips out so you can see yourself if you're in front of the camera. The first lens I have is the Canon 18 to 135 millimeter STM lens. This lens is, well, it's, it's really heavy for one. This lens has fabulous autofocus and it can zoom pretty far as well. The big downside to this lens is that it can't focus unless things are about like this far away. So trying to take pictures of bunnies that keep trying to get like near the camera is kind of hard. The next lens I have is the Canon 18 to 55 millimeter STM lens. You could consider this just kind of a smaller version of the last lens. The autofocus is also quite quiet on this lens, which is nice, and it can focus on things a lot closer up. And it also weighs so much less than the other one which is why I got this one. It's much nicer when you're walking around with your camera for it not to be super heavy. The last lens I have is the Canon 24mm STM lens. This lens is fabulous for portraits and other pictures in general. The other camera I use a lot is the Canon G7X. This little thing is a beast of a little camera. But this thing being so tiny, the video quality it takes and, and picture quality is really, really good. A lot of people know about this camera in the vlog world, and honestly, it's just really great. <laughs> As for tripods, I have this little rig that I built for like really cheap. You just set the camera on this, and then you can hold it like this for stabilization, I don't know. Another thing I have is this little tripod. This is a gorilla pod. This is overall really helpful. And the big tripod I have is just this old heavy metal tripod that I got for free. I wouldn't like recommend you go find and buy this one because it's really old, but hey, it works for now, so I just keep using it. As for computer equipment, I edit on my iMac with Final Cut Pro. Again, I did not start with editing with on Final Cut Pro. I started editing on Windows Movie Maker, but if you can afford Final Cut Pro, it is a really great editor and I highly recommend it. As for thumbnails, editing thumbnails is one of my least favorite things about YouTube. I really hate making thumbnails. Right now I'm just using kind of a jumbo of websites and programs because I don't really have one, just one that I'm using right now. And as for lighting, I use the sun. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any more questions, you can leave them down below. And anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in my next one. Bye. Yeah, this little camera is pretty great. Camera.